Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for this short hip opening class. It's a little bit windy where I am, so I hope that doesn't affect the microphone too much. Anyway, let's begin. So take a comfortable seat, turn the palms up and take the thumb and index finger to touch. Take a deep inhale. Just allowing yourself to arrive, start to feel the connection with your seat and the earth as you take a few deep centering breaths, maybe closing your eyes. Good, and then when you're ready, turn the palms over on the knees and start to make some circles. So I'm just gonna go forward and back and around with my chest. Forward, back and around. Forward, back and around. And you might like to make these circles bigger or smaller, just moving into the lower back as well as the hips starting to unravel tension and then maybe go back the other way. Good, and then when you're ready, take your legs out wide and extend your arms. Take a deep breath, opening the chest, the heart, the lungs. Inhale here, exhale, right hand to left ankle. Inhale, left to right really stretching the whole body here. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, and then bring your palms together. Interlock the fingers, keeping the index fingers straight. Inhale, make some big circles. And as you exhale, coming around, activating the core muscles. So you're Inhale, stretch forward, exhale, the abdominals are working. Really good for your metabolism, hormonal balance, abdominal strength. Inhaling and exhaling. And then let's go the other way. So exaggerate that movement, real forward stretches and come back. And it should feel quite good. Starting to open up the body. Good, well done. All right, release that. Slide your hands under the knees and bring the knees together and then come onto all fours on your mat. From here we'll take some cat cows. So spread the fingers, push the palms into the earth. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round as you push into the palms. Inhale, arch, push into the tops of the feet and the shins. Exhale, round, really feeling the earth beneath you. Well done. And then from here, push back into your first down dog. Maybe put in your feet here, stretching through the hamstring. Keep your hands shoulder distance. Then you turn it into your third line and take the right leg up and back. From here, bend the knee and open up your hip. Open up that psoas muscle without compromising the right shoulder. Keep the right shoulder square. Good, and then square the hip. Look to the hands, rock forward, tiger curl that right knee in and place it between, place the foot between your hands. So you're in a low lunge now. Just extend the front of the head, the crown of the head, the neck, gazes forward stretching into the back knee and then from here take flatten your left hand down to the ground take the right hand to the knee and take a gentle twist maybe stretching that right arm up release the hand down drop the back knee and then send the hips back so you're getting a little stretch there so I'm going to rock forward and back going into the hamstrings into the hip flexors Forward and back, forward and back. Good. And then from here, you can, the back toes curled under, you can step back to your down dog, take a breath. 
and let's do the other side. So the left leg comes up and back, bend the knee, open up that psoas muscle. Take a nice breath there. Square the hips, look to the hands. Tiger curl that knee through and place the foot between the hands. Gaze forward, stretching out through the back leg and the ball of the back foot. Take the right hand and plant it down onto the earth. Use your left hand to take a twist. Maybe extending the left arm. Release. Drop the right knee. Send your hips back. And then just rock back and forward here. Getting into the hamstrings and the hip flexors. Well done. All right, step back, down dog. Take a breath in your down dog. Look to the hands and slowly walk forward. Let the head go. Push through the feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Feel the connection with the feet and the earth. Inhale, float your arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, folding forward, softening the knees as you fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg back, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, step back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward to your plank, gazes forward. Maybe lower straight down from here or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right leg forward, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg back, back knee drops. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, step back, down dog. Rock forward to plank, lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale. Down dog. Look to the hands. Left foot forward. Back knee drops. Inhale. Arms reach. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Hands to the hips now. Step your legs wide for your prasarita. So pushing into the outside edges of the feet, all four corners of the feet are grounding down, kneecaps lifting up, strong legs. Relax the shoulders and ears away from the ears. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. Let the head go. Place the hands down between the feet, bending the elbows and fold forward here. Inhale, look up. Walk the hands to the left leg as you slightly bend the left knee. Turn the right toes up. Now you may be, your foot may be flat here or you may bring your arms around behind you. And then walk the hands to the other side, Skandasana. Hands may be behind you, or you may just stay here up on your toes. Either variation's fine. Just do what feels good for you. And then just swap a little bit, a little bit of movement in the hips, side to side. Side to side. Good, and then slowly come back to your prasarita. Take your hands to the hips, inhale, and gently come up. I'm just gonna heel toe my feet in, 
So my legs are hip distance apart and we'll take a balancing hip opener now. So the left, we're um, grounding down through the left leg, right leg comes up and around. So just starting to make some circles there with that right leg, thinking of the ball and socket joint of the right hip. Round we go. And then let's swap to the other side. So balancing on the right leg, left leg comes up and around, up and around. All right, let's add on to that now. So the right leg comes up and around and I'm gonna step back and reach the arms up. Other side, up and around and reach. This stretches out any tension in the side body, which is associated with the gallbladder meridian. And you're getting a beautiful hip stretch at the same time. And you can do this as slow or as fast as you like. Good, and gently release. All right, come back to the top of the mat now. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half row lift. Exhale, step back to your down dog. Take a breath. From here, bring your right leg forward into pigeon. And inhale, open the heart, open the chest. Exhale, folding forward for a moment. And I'm just gonna spin around. And then inhale, come up, drop the hips to the right and open your legs wide now. From here, slide your right hand alongside your right knee and bring that left arm up and over. Anchoring down through your left seat. This is a great stretch if you spend time sitting or driving. Stretches out the lower back. Inhale, come up, other side. Left arm slides down and right arm up and over. Good, and inhale, come up. We'll come to pigeon on the other side. So manually take the left leg across the mat. Open the chest, extend the front of the spine, and exhale, folding forward. Good, and inhale. Drop the hips to the left now and come up. Let's take the legs wide again and we'll come forward. So if your hamstrings are particularly tight, you can sit on a blanket here. Keep the knees and the toes pointing up to the sky and slowly walk your hands forward here. Good, and then gently walk your hands back. Slide your hands under the knees now and bring your legs to cross. We're going to take a double pigeon now, which is quite a strong hip stretch. So you, if it's too much for you, just have your legs crossed or you can use a blanket or a cushion for support. So I'm gonna take the right ankle over the left knee and come forward. Now this is where if it's too much, just place the foot in front of the knee or use a cushion or a blanket to support you. Inhale here and exhale coming forward. Good, and push the floor away, come up, uncross the legs, maybe take a little windshield wiper here, side to side. And we'll do the other side. So it's the left, I've got a lot of sand on me here, left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, using a cushion or a blanket, whatever you need, or just placing the leg in front. Taking a deep inhale, and when you're ready, you can come forward. Oh, 
push the floor away. Take your time to come up and then just windshield wiper the legs again, side to side and coming back to seated. Well done. Take a moment here, take a nice deep breath in. Take another deep breath, gathering strength and energy as you float your arms up, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands to namaste. Thank you for joining me for this very short and sweet practice. I hope you have happy hips. And if you like this video, if you like any of my videos, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.